What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Tech Preacher. So welcome to another episode of me reacting to my own videos. I love this series of videos because this may help some people, right? Now, I'm reacting to my own videos that I've made in the past and critiquing myself and giving you guys some real-time reaction of the videos that I've made, right? So in today's episode, I want to react to a video that I got 2.1 million views on, right? And why did this video get 2.1 million views? Well, this video was a simple video, a helpful video, and it helped out million, you know, 2 million people, right? So this video uh, was called the uh, How to Factor Reset Your Windows PC, right? Real simple, right? <clears throat> but this video right here helped so many people. And this video was shot with a smartphone, and it was shot with bad audio. And it goes to show you that sometimes you don't need all this expensive equipment to make it happen. So let's go to the react to it. Let's have some fun and uh, go from there. As you can see, this video got 2.13 million views. It has over 2000 comments. It has a uh, 14,000, almost 15,000 likes. So that is a good thing. I, this is awesome, man. Uh, and this video is gaining a lot of views. Uh, uh, every day. So let's go to the react to it. And here it goes. Hello, YouTubers. This is Eric from me to computer solution. So on this YouTube channel, I like, ah, to look at that background. I like to do a lot of tutorials to help people in dire need when they have a computer that's running slow, infected with viruses and stuff like that. And they go to a PC repair place and it costs them a lot of money. So today, guys, I have a client's computer that's running Windows 7 and it is very slow. It's buggy, blue screen of dead, it's rebooting itself. It's infested with viruses. So today, guys, I'm going to show you from the beginning all the way to the end how I fix my client's computer. It's running Windows 7, but you can do this with Windows XP. Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, any PC that you could do this tutorial with. So let's go on and get started with the tutorial. Get your popcorn ready ah! and follow me on this Look at journey. that. Get the popcorn ready. Oh, look at this back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Shout out to Lewis, y'all. He made this uh, intro for me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is oh, look at that computer. Video. So today, guys, I'm booting up this machine. This is a laptop for a customer, and it's an HP uh, Pavilion uh, DV74179 for God, a customer. Please. And uh, as you can tell, I'm booting it up. It's, it's taking an awful long time to boot up. <laughs> uh, it has an AMD processor. I don't know how many AMD gigs processor. Have, but uh, it's definitely, definitely slow. So. Uh, I'm waiting on it to boot up, guys, so we can get into the, uh, the the resetting process. This is one of the reasons why people get frustrated after they have a PC for a long uh, period of time. Uh, they it get infested with viruses and stuff like that. So they need some help. help. So today, guys, I'm just want to kind of show you real quick, real easy on how to fix the PC. Now, so uh, I mean, give it a few minutes to see if it's going to boot <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, they go Let's boot go up. Fast forward the video, and I'm going to let this run until we get to some type of operating system. Right now, we are definitely in a dire state, and this computer will not boot up into the <laughs> OS. Uh, and this is probably the frustration that a lot of people yes. have right now. So as you can see, the windows is just circling and circling and circling. It's nothing happening. So, I mean, we're about to hit the 20 minute mark. 20 minutes. Nothing's happening with this 20 PC. minutes. So, so, gonna... so look, check this out, right? When I did this video, it took, it was over 20 minutes and this thing was still circling. It didn't want to boot up. Now, I did get permission from the client to make this video. Now, at that time, when I first started my YouTube channel, I, this is what I used to do, right? I used to, you know, remove move viruses, factory reset people computers. A lot of people didn't know how to factory reset their computer. So <clears throat> the people was having issues. These are way back in the day for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Vista XP. These was the issues that people was having. And look, I, 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 I had some services available for people to help. To do guys, I'm just gonna press the home, I mean the uh, power button. Yep, turn it off. All right, let's Hey, look off. at that background. So check this out, right? I was using the Galaxy S6, it looked like the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus filming this video. That's why you had a lot of focus breeding going on. Also, <clears throat> it, it looked, I this was the beginning of my YouTube career here, right? So my studio was 
was not even started yet. Uh, I was filming everything from the smartphone and the tripod. I didn't have no external mics and everything else. So this, this right here is something that y'all want to, this, this notice 2.1 million views on Superman this video. Yeah, yeah. I still got that this Superman shirt. Turn this right PC there. back on and it's going to hit F10. F10. Now, if you have a different PC, PC besides a HP, uh, you may have to hit F9, F12, F11. But uh, on the HP, uh, laptops and PCs, uh, I had to, I, I only had to hit uh, F10 to get into uh, to set up this utility, all right? So, um, what I'm going to do, guys, real Four gigs simple, of RAM is I'm going to just get out of this. God. I'm going to exit, all right? And what this is going to do is take me to another menu. Uh, this is the easy way I like to do this, by the way. This is going to take me to another menu. So, right now, it's telling me that my windows did not shut down successfully. That's fine. Let's go into safe mode. Safe mode, baby. Right? Or you and can do it in command prompt. This PC in safe mode. Bypass all that crap that we just saw uh, with your PC just turning and spinning and turning and spinning. That doesn't work. So at this point, we're going to bypass all of that. And we're going to just do a real simple, real easy way to, to, to fix this PC, get rid of everything, and start this like you just bought the PC. So let's go ahead and go into administration, all right, uh, the administrative account. Make sure you know your passwords. If not, then again, uh, they got a lot of stuff on the web on how to you know uh, clear your password. It's no big deal. Uh, so unfortunately, you can't do that so stuff right now. now. But back then, you safe could. Mode, and safe <sighs> mode is is totally faster than going into uh, the regular mode that I was. It was circling for twenty minutes, and that's a no go. All right, so right now, guys, we're in safe mode. I mean, it took no time to get in safe mode. All right, yeah, so it took right a little now, time to get in face mode, but I mean, it was all right. We're just not going to mess around with it. We just go and and it even in safe mode, it's it's pretty slow. All right, so let's go to the real simple. And, and I'm looking at some of the apps that the customer have, uh, CC Cleaner, Optimize Your PC, all, all that kinds of stuff, of stuff These going are on. The problems that you run into. Look at that cloud, cloud antivirus. antivirus. Listen, guys. <laughs> Speed browser, rebate blaster. Ah. Listen, it, this <laughs> is the, the the stuff that help that hurts your PC. By the way, so don't I'm download do none something of that crap, real man. simple, guys. Only thing I'm going to do is go to my search and search restore, restore, factory restore. I make it sound easy, but for for the two point right. one million there people that watch this video, right, so it wasn't restore, easy for them. Say, restore your PC. Restore your computer or reinstall Windows. Look at that. Real simple. So basically, guys, I just want to go to scroll down. Real easy. Booyah. Now, at this Ooh, point, focus everything that you have on your PC is going to get erased. That's so right. if you didn't save or if you didn't back up none of your files and documents and stuff like it's that, gone. Uh, you might have to back all this up before you get to this point. All right. So now... <sighs> At this point, I want y'all guys to see this. You want to go to what's called advanced recovery method. Advanced recovery method. Real simple, real easy. You got two options here. You got return a used system image to create an earlier nope. or, or to recover your computer. Oh, look nope. at that change. Because we, I don't have a system image right now for this PC. Or they say return your computer to factory condition. That's what it. What this does, this option would delete everything on your computer and replace it with the recovery image provided by your computer's manufacturer. Okay, so let me stop here. A, a lot of questions that I did get from this video is that uh, when they click on, you know, return to factory condition, it they didn't get anything. Uh, most PCs, if you bought them from the store, if you bought them from Best Buy or at that time, I don't know what store was open. If you bought your PC brand new, if it, it don't matter, <clears throat> it had a, uh, a petition, right? It always had like maybe a C drive or a D drive. And it was a petition that has the uh, factory image, uh, on, on the computer. Now, some of the comments that I did receive, that was say that they didn't have that petition. Well, unfortunately, somebody must have deleted or uh, some some of the questions that I did ask was, did you buy your PC brand new? Did you get it from the store where, where you got it from? And they're like, no, I bought it from somebody. Oh, no, that somebody gave it to me. Well, unfortunately, sometimes people altered and maybe deleted the D drive. They deleted the factory image or something like that. So that was some of the questions that I got on this video. All right. So it also give you some disclaimers that, um, 
make sure you back up everything you have, back everything up before you do this process. But uh, the client uh, that gave me this PC told me that there's nothing on this PC that they want. There's nothing that they want backed up. They want everything completely wiped, completely done. Booyah, let's get it done. Yeah. So uh, basically, guys, you want to just click here. <clears throat> real simple. All right. And they say Windows backup cannot run if this computer is running in the safe, safe mode. So this restart right, so it. So let's go down and restart. <clears throat> All right, so now you're going to start getting pop-up menus here. Uh, so right now it's asking me uh, U.S. or whatever type of uh, keyboard input, uh, whatever country that you're in, you want to click the download menu and select your country of choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the U.S., mm -hmm. so I'm going to go to the, click, click the U.S. Now it's telling me if I uh, need any help, and I'm going to do a, uh, a, a system Set the recovery. Reset the recovery, yeah. All right. All right, so this process restores your computer to out of the box state. That's Again, right. Again, if you just if you bought a PC, this will do it out of the box state. This will get you fully recovered. That's right. So we're going to recover without backing up any files. Right. And the reason why is because some of the files may be corrupted. May be corrupted. So yeah. we're going to go down and do a clean slate. That's it. All right. Again. All everything should Disclaimers. be disconnected. Keyboard, mouse. If you got anything that's external, let's go on and do this. All right. Go and again, uh, listen. This is this is kind of <clears throat> this at your own risk, guys. Uh, yeah. And right now, it's reinstalling all the original software. And once this is completed, I'm gonna go through. Let y'all guys see everything. That is gonna be a brand new, fresh computer right out of box. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so the recovery is done here. Uh, so now the PC is asking me to uh, go on and hit finish. So I'm doing the finish here. Uh, all right, guys, so right now we had our welcome screen. You got to type in the username. So uh, the the client name uh, was Dog. So <laughs> yeah, name uh, we'll was put his name yes. back in. That's right. Uh, he had it capitalized. D O double so G, put, baby. Uh, the, the username back in, and I'm going to hit next. No uh, password. And, um, so it's asking me to accept all the license and agreements and stuff like that. So I'm doing that there. I'm going to do recommended settings. Uh, time is right. And so uh, what I did was I bypassed the password. I hit finish twice. Right. Bypassed the password. It's not my I don't computer. Want to put a password in. <clears throat> uh, the client can go back in and put their own password right. in. Not so my computer. I'm going to leave it open for the client. Uh, if the computer asks me to put in the password, I will just put in a generic password for the client. Now, at this point, uh, Windows 7 Home Premium is just finalizing, finishing all the settings and stuff like that. And uh, we're almost done with this tutorial. So I'm getting a prompt saying, welcome to your new hey. HP computer. When you buy this PC, this is the welcome screen that you're going to get when you first buy the this computer. Uh, so this computer has been completely factory reset. Yes. And now it's going to ask me for the uh, setup here if I want to register this computer and the stuff like that. So it's going to give me some uh st steps here and it's going to take me through all steps to register this pc and everything so it should get me close to the home screen here and i say thank you and uh remember in the beginning of the video guys I, I it took at least almost 20 minutes 20 and so more minutes and it was just spinning it was just spinning just the same pc and so uh, <laughs> i went into safe mode and i showed you guys how to quickly get into safe mode and in safe mode what you can get into safe mode fairly easy fairly quick all i did was i went into search and i hit recovery and i just typed in recovery hey and booyah, look at that we are up and running <clears throat> all uh, right so, uh, this process took me about an hour yeah yeah it's gonna take right. about an hour so yeah everything everything that was on this pc is it's gone done. yes a uh, nice wallpaper by uh, hp by the that way that is a pretty uh, wallpaper so now the client has a brand new pc uh, basically saved them hundreds of dollars. Yeah. I don't know how much they paid for the PC, uh, but for my services, uh, it's about half the cost. Yes, right. PC. So <laughs> Gotta get paid, it's real baby. Simple, guys. You can Gotta get paid. On risk, <laughs> and that's it, guys. So we are good. Everything is working properly. So the, the client now has a brand new PC. That's it. And they can do whatever they want with it. This is Eric from Easy Computer oh, Solutions. Man. Leave your questions that's it. down. That's it. I mean, I mean, look, you can't get no better than that, right? You can't get no better than that. Listen, man, it, this was uh, a very easy, right, uh, detailed 
uh, you know, uh, video to help people out. I mean, look, man, you got to think about it like this. Not everybody know how to tinker around with their PC. So at that time, when I made this video, I think it was perfect because a lot of people that was running Windows 7, you know, Windows 8 uh, and all kinds of, uh, you know, there was plague with viruses. Uh, a lot of people, you know, when you bought a PC back in the day, right, that people, People recommended you to buy like virus software and stuff like that. A lot of people didn't buy virus software. And so you got maybe some virus software for free at that time. And I mean, a lot of people didn't buy it, you know. And, and so what happened was as you serve the web, as you download apps and you start to notice that uh, your PC running slow, you got all these pop up is, uh, pop ups that that tell you, "Hey, I can speed your PC up. Just download this software." And this is what happened a lot back in the day. People downloaded a lot of software to, to thinking that they was going to speed up their their computers, but finding out that it was bogging their computers down. But overall, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do a rating. Uh, the image quality, I'm using a smartphone, I would give it a 4 out of 10. The image quality was terrible, the flickering and all that stuff like that, using the smartphone with, with the, the internal mics, I had some popping going on all in there. This and the audio and the video was a 4 out of 10. It was just bad, right? Uh, the video itself, helping the customer, I give it a 9 out of 10 uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, I did go through safe mode. I did do uh, the, the things that I can to help the client. Yeah, maybe a 10 out of 10 on that one because uh, at the end of the day, it fixed the computer. It made it faster. It took everything off the computer and it started from scratch. So this was a brand new computer when it was all said and done. It was fast, four gigs of RAM. I mean, we, we talking about way back in the day, but it did fix the customer computer and that was a good thing. I did this video from a smartphone. I didn't have all this fancy equipment and all that stuff like that that I have now. I shot that entire video on the smartphone. So I could tell you this, if you have a smartphone, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you can start a YouTube channel with a smartphone. I would just encourage everybody to, if you start uh, filming YouTube videos with a smartphone, just level up. Level up to professional uh, gear. Level up to professional mics. Level up. And uh, I think you, your, your quality of your video is going to be outstanding. So, all right. That's me reacting to my video. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about me reacting to my own videos. That's right. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.